Hey world, another beautiful day, December 25th, a traditional day, um, celebrated every year out here in the West, and I say traditional because family, we got to understand, Christmas is a traditional holiday, traditional, not religious, and um, <laughs> Right now, there'll be a lot of people in church today, uh, a lot of um, programs on the television, uh, you know, programs on the radio, by a lot of religious people that are doing sermons today about this being Jesus' birthday and the, and, the, and the birth of Jesus, when it's a well-known fact, from biblical scholars to, you know, anthropologists, to historians all know that today is not Jesus' birthday. And so when you put things in perspective, just like Christopher Columbus Day is, is not a real holiday, but it's still celebrated. So it's traditional. When you understand that it is a tradition and not religious, you're able to appreciate the fact that people coming together, family and friends, you know, sharing gifts, you know, and that's a beautiful thing. You did? Looking at it from that standpoint, it is a beautiful thing. I think what's disconcerting and disingenuous is when these religious institutions try to profit off of it. Okay? Profit off of misinformation. You would think that, you know, the whole notion of religion is to help guide individuals to a spiritual awakening. A spiritual understanding that there is the most high and that there is a code of ethics, you know, a, a behavior code amongst humans that if practiced can have a harmonious uh, outcome. And that's actually what the, you know, the responsibility of the spiritual leader should be, to help awaken those that are lost spiritually, you dig? But when there's a prophet involved and 501c3s involved, you know, the objectives get skewed. And so you start having these traditional holidays, which that's all they are, traditions. They add another component of religion into it, and then now it's, it's, it's not as, you know, authentic as it should be. Okay, just like birthdays. You know, every year you get together and you celebrate your birthday. That's just what Christmas is. And so, when, like I said, when you put things in perspective... It makes it easier to navigate yourself through the matrix. You can't be fooled. You're never going to feel bad about, well, you know, buying people presents because that's not what this is about. It's actually about, you know, enjoying each other's company and being in the presence of, of others. And children, of course, and loved ones, those that you want to buy, purchase a present for, you understand the value that is not, you're not giving it to them for religious purposes. You give it to them because it's a, a gesture of, of a good deed. You know, appreciation. That's what it's about. And those that don't receive presents, I mean, <laughs> you have to look at you. Don't look at the person that, that you expect to buy you something. You did? So, so, so it gets skewed. And so, family, like I say, today, enjoy the day. Enjoy your family and friends. You know, put things in perspective. And, uh, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to videos, family. In the meantime, between time, may the most high side to bring you joy. And being willing is out of 5,000.